Alright, two more eggs to go. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh boy. Oh boy, more eggs. <laughs> if only I had a fourth bottle, it would have made things so much easier. But I do know of a way to get a fourth bottle, let me just put that way. <laughs> Uh, I just want to see where I can hookshot to from here, because this is a nice vantage point. I think I'm gonna... I'm better off going over to this one. Oops, not... Oh, not close enough. There we go. I just want to get myself... Ah, oh, I'm too low. Dang it! Get myself over there. And I guess I will go over to... Maybe I'll go to the highest one first. Actually, no, she's she's pointing that way. Never mind, never mind. Let's go here first. <laughs> because why not? Oh, shoot. Um, I do believe I need to do this. I think that's a dead end over there. Yeah, so I need to go to the left. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And we want to be very, so very soft. Very gentle. And... Hmm, I'm not quite there yet. I need to get... Uh, well, she's gonna be turning her back this way, I think. So I think I'll be able to just snipe her when she comes through here. <laughs> Come on. There you are! <laughs> it looks pretty painful, but rest assured she's only knocked out. See the stars? Yeah, alright. Going through here is another battle room, obviously. HALT! It takes courage to come thieving the pirate's fortress! I'm going to love doing this to you. Same dialogue, basically. Alright, copy paster. You are going down like the clown you are. Nope. I'm just trying to look for an opportunity here. Yeah, whenever she opens up her... Oh, no, you don't. Ha! <laughs> Whenever she opens up her guard there, you can attack her. Oh, I don't think it ends here. I don't think it will anytime soon. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Camera turned me around for some reason. There we go. And, ooh, oh, this, this I do believe is the only point this thing appears. This big fish there, if I recall correctly. Um, I forgot its name though offhand. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Don't fall in the water. I just want to get... Oh, there we go. It is a Desbreco. Once it bites you, it's not going to get going. I hate this thing! Okay, so what we've got to do here... Just get in here. Get that egg. <laughs> Open that treasure chest. Yes. Obviously, normally you would want to clear out this place <laughs> before you jump into it just by attacking it with anything you can get, but I'm just kind of just kind of getting into that. Uh, that, that that works. I just wanted to get in there and get out as fast as possible because it takes forever to clear those things out. So yeah, there's also hearts in here, so that's why I didn't really care all that much. <laughs> it, just, it just feels like a waste of time. Um... That's actually a place that will make me take longer to get back to where I was before, so... I'm gonna go around this way instead. Oop! And there we go. Oh wait, maybe this will, will take me longer, depending on the direction that she is. Uh, okay, we're good. <laughs> maybe it won't take me longer. Great! Okay, so now, rather than having to do all those jumps to get back up here and whatnot from the other side, we can now go right up back here and resume where we left off-ish. Oh wait, that's... No, that's, that was the right distance, okay. Yeah, going up. Hopefully we weren't going to be seen by the guard. The guard is right there. And of course... Night-night! <laughs> yeah, they have unlimited health, so don't worry about hurting them. They cannot be killed. Ever! Ever. Oh, geez. Um, that's a dicey treasure chest to get. But I will dare to get it. Oh, shoot! That's right. That. Ah, uh, there was three of them here, not two. Ah. Uh, all right, we're back here. 
I think that treasure chest only contains rupees, come to think of it, so maybe I'll just... I'll just leave that for now. <laughs> that is a really risky one to get without a certain mask. So I'm just gonna kinda zip my way through here. There we go. You don't have to worry about being seen there, as I've never gotten seen by them before. And sure enough, that's as far as you go. How unfortunate. You won't be getting past here. Or will I? By the way, they all got different colored clothing, by the way, if you didn't notice that. These uh, ones that you battle. Yes. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nope. Uh-uh. Aha! Oh, oh, I thought I almost had you. There we go, I had you. <laughs> oh, not bad. I think it ends here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately for her, it does end here, because that is where the last egg is. <laughs> this is like a, I don't know, it's like an engine room or something like that. It's got some pipes going on all around here. There's the last egg, and it's guarded by another freaking clam. Ah, uh, I'm gonna do that over there, I guess. And we're gonna go down and... In, grab that, and get out of here. I'm not battling you. Don't you try and up? Oh, don't you try and entice me? I know there's more hearts here. I think they give you hearts because of the battles uh, just before these rooms. You know, just as a way to say, hey, yeah, you might, might have taken damage. You might want to recover. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so this leads back over here. Now, as for those two treasure chests. Uh, oh yeah, there's hearts over there if you want to jump down for them. But yeah, as for those two treasure chests that you see on the map, I forgot how to get to them. I could probably figure it out relatively quickly, in theory. Uh, I think you have to jump down, oops, jump down for this one. Um, let's see here... I'm gonna put this back up for one thing, because I got the hookshot target. Okay, so I got one of them. Voila, it's red ruby, that's a waste for my wallet. I should just I should have probably just went back over to the uh Um to the bank because all these rupees that I'm getting, but whatever. <laughs> uh that's the door that you used to jump back out of for the one that I didn't want to use from the other side. And uh Uh oh, there's the other treasure chest. Okay. So I guess I did remember how to get that. <laughs> Wonderful! Alright, a red rupee. Now, um... I think I am going to want to head over to... Wait. Drop off those eggs first, I think. Because I think you need to carry... Oh, actually, I guess it doesn't matter which way we do it in, uh... I mean, in which, uh... Order we do it in, because it's just gonna be... The same dealio, I think, because I still have one open bottle anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. See, the thing about it is when we're, we're gonna get that seahorse, that seahorse, uh, we need a bottle free to... Yeah, so... I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go to first. So, in this case, I'm just gonna go up over here, and we're gonna go flop on in here. How do you like those apples? Oh, I don't like this apple. I keep having to switch my items to... Oh, wait, no, no, this... I don't have to go and... <laughs> yeah, the thing about this is that there isn't any wood to even attach here, nor can you even use the powers of your hookshot slash longshot in here, because... It doesn't let you use them anyway, so you just got to use the ladder. <laughs> so she rearranged those eggs a little bit in case you didn't notice that. Oh, you can't plop in the egg over there. You can't plop in the egg here either. Are you? Mm. <laughs> just stand in the center, I guess, and just unleash your eggs everywhere. That uh, that that could be taken many different ways. Anyway. Uh, this is a problem. I just wanted to see if you had anything else to say there. Okay. Moving on. I will put on this mask. And since I got the picture of one of the pirates, remember that? I took a picture in the last part. I think it was the last part uh, when I went... Oh, wait. Yeah, it was the last part. The first time that I got there, I took a picture of the one on the boat. And you gotta gotta make sure you've got her face, basically, or, or one of their faces. One of, anyone will do, 
just as long as you get their face. And I found that first one to be easiest to get because you don't they don't really see you at that angle. And you can still get a clear Oh shoot, I took the wrong place. I don't want to go in the spider house yet. I'm not ready for the spider house. I've got more quests than to do. <laughs> Alright. Hey, how's it going there? Uh-huh. I, I fe what? What? Oh, I, that's right, I have to speak to you first. Yes, yes. Uh, help me, help me, yes, yes. Pick the graph. Here's your pick the graph. How's this look? Oh, that's it, that's it. I had a picture like that. Why aren't you a crafty one? You'll give that to me, won't you? In exchange, I'll give you this. Ah, oh, got a seahorse! Hurry, hurry, take it at its home with Pinnacle Rock! Thank you. Hurry, take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock! Alright, that's it. It's just kind of repeated themselves in kind of a ridiculous manner, but whatever, whatever. Anope is still having fun chewing sand over there, it's having a good time. We haven't needed her to get around at all, because we were all just basically focused around one particular area, which she doesn't really have access to anyway. So now that we have the seahorse, I could actually get this set up here. There we go. And we are off. By the way, if you don't have enough bottles, you might want to memorize your uh, pathway through here. Just saying, and or look at my footage to redo this if need be. Alright, so here we go. We are in. This is Pinnacle Rock, as you've seen me plop down here before. Well, that is a really weird wobbly effect, but it's not as dizzying as the cutscene dizzying multi-image effect here. Alright, so here we are. Due to the murky water, we can't get through, but remember, you needed a golden fish. Well, the golden fish just happens to be a seahorse, because, it's, see, it's golden. Look at that. It's all bright and shiny, and it's like, oh, you have strange powers. Link, I have a request for you. Please follow me. And yes, you must follow it. Follow it from signboard to signboard, danger, murky water ahead. That's what they all say, basically. And you see, pass by that signboard. You go over to this signboard, and I pass by this. Follow the signboard there. Keep keep following the signboards, and just keep following the seahorse too. If you get too far off track, there will be an issue of that you getting pushed back to the starts. So yeah, don't don't trifle with the murky water. You want to try and stay as precisely as possible. Follow, follow, follow. Signboard to signboard, except for that one point. And here we are. Look at that. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock live many dangerous sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. Like, could you please find a way to rid of the area of all the sea snakes and help my friend? Yes, I will. As a matter of fact. This is a side quest slash main quest area here. Uh, there's a couple of treasure chests here, um, also beneath the surface in those holes. But I'm just going to give you a little, little outside tour here first, just for kicks to show you what you might miss if you didn't come around here. I don't want to go too far outside that edge because I don't know what the trigger point is for you to get warped back to the start. So I'm just kind of giving you a little, little loopy run through here. Now I'm going to go from top to bottom and going in each of these holes to kill off all of these sea snakes. Got it? Good. And I mean all of the sea snakes. So they're not that dangerous. You just go up next to them and then you get out your boomerangs. And then you just, oh! It went in. <laughs> That's okay. Everything is just... Oh! You just ran right into them even though they're the things that I think kill you. Aren't they? Aren't they the things that kill you? Tell me the things that kill you. Uh, what, am, what is going on here? Like what? See, there we go. What is? What was even? Was I touching? Like was I hitting that wall over there or what? Okay, there we go. Yeah, two hits will kill him off, and then you can go inside to see what is inside there. In three of these passageways, there are um, eggs. In this case, that was only just a heart. Kind of a pathetic reward, I know, but well. Well, that's what you got to deal with when you're doing this. Um, actually, maybe I'll just go around in a circle. And yeah, there's a sea snake in every hole. It takes a while to kill them all off. I know, I know. This is Majora's Mask Tedium 101. And, oh, what is this thing hitting it? Okay, there we go. There we go. And, oh, that works. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually target them before. Like... Oh, there's an egg. 
But yeah, I don't know if you could actually target those things to actually do any sort of dealio. Uh, so yeah, there's one of the missing Zor eggs. I will switch the bottles out, just for the sake of speed. And move on. Um, going up. I'm just gonna go around like layer by layer, I guess now. And here we go. Uh, let's entice the snake. There we go. Oop, I am not on the ground yet. That's okay. We have plenty of time to get the next dungeon's entrance set up. So just relax, have a good time, and kill off another sea steak. Oh, there's another egg. Very, very nice. Okay. And... In you go! Wow! There is... So many holes to go through. <laughs> too many holes to go through, let's just put it that way. And there we go, drop down, yeah, da, da, da. there's a lot of repetition here, it's like, you did it once, and do it like 12 more times, they, they, they gotta test you 12 more times, what is even going on there, with the, the cut detection, like what are those boomerangs even hitting, I don't know, but what I do know is, this place is completely empty, let's move on. <laughs> Uh, I think we're gonna have to move to the next layer down because I did that one up there. And yes, 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 yes. And good. Can I get him before he goes back in? No, of course not. It's gonna make me burn more time just because. <laughs> and there we go. Taking care of business. And here's a treasure chest over here. This is one of the ones that you've seen in, well, I should say on the map, excuse me, that are inside one of the holes. It looks it looks like it could be anywhere on there, but I believe all the treasure chests are in all the holes, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's another reason why you want to clear these out, just for the sake of saying that you cleared them out, I guess. <laughs> um, but, more, oh! I didn't mean to do that, I was a little bit too close. That's okay. They don't do all that much damage, despite their massive size. And... Just more of a time waster than anything. And, oh, there we go. Got the hit off right away. And two hits for victory. Uh-huh. And I'd like to get this all taken care of, this part, if you don't mind, for obvious reasons. Because this is super mega tedious. <laughs> If the sooner I get this done, the better. Um, okay, and you definitely don't want to kill off these sea snakes again. That's why you want to do this all while you're right over here. Just for the sake of speeding things along for time saving. And the screen is going to be shrinking in that weird fashion because we're going to be ending the first day relatively soon here. But that is okay. It doesn't mean anything considering we have two more days to go. Voila, there's another egg. I think the last hole is directly across. Uh, there's also pots around here that you can break for, oops, that you can break for hearts and stuff like that, I think. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a green rupee, a big whoop there, but yeah, I think they're just there basically for the regular spoils. Nothing really important there. And killing off this one will unleash a seahorse, which means it's the last one in the area. The best of buddies are together again! Hello guys, how's it going? Oh, thank you Link! This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude! And we get a piece of heart, and they make a little heart back there with their body design, if you look at that kind of slightly. Anyway. Just just a little bit of a heart. <laughs> anyway, let's go and leave those lovers alone and open up this treasure chest. We get a red rupee. We are getting so many red rupees, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Can I speak with you again, just out of curiosity here? if I can. I don't think I can. No, I guess not. Let's see if the screen shrinks now, also for kicks. I think I got all all in if I recall correctly. Nope, screen didn't shrink this time. Yep, yep, yep. I do believe that I got them all. 
yeah, I think I have got them all. So, I'm gonna see if I can play my ocarina underwater here. <laughs> uh, by ocarina, I mean guitar, because it transforms into whatever... Uh, nope, you can't. Too bad, too bad. So I gotta be up at the surface. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try seeing the kicks exactly where that, uh, uh, where that transportation area is that takes you out of here, I guess. Maybe. Might be. Uh, or maybe I won't even have to. Maybe I can... No. Okay. So let's see where it'll poop me out from, okay? Uh, let's see how far away... Oh, you can actually get pretty dang far away from this. Okay, there we go. And then it poops you out back over here. Voila! And all I want to do is get back to some land so I can play my freaking instrument. I heard that the pirates are attacked by sea snakes to the creature's lair. It seems like he dropped the uh, same dialogue. I see. Gold colored fish. We got a gold colored fish. And we don't need that gold colored fish anymore. <laughs> uh, look, well, you know what? I don't even. I, like, I, I can't warp. Well, I mean, I can warp, but. If I go to land off to the left, it's going to take me longer doing that than just going over to here and not warping whatsoever. <laughs> Alrighty. And there we go. Let's go in and throw them in the bin. Go there and oops, need to be out of my Zor form. There we go. All three eggs. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. I'll save that fishy side quest for later, I guess. Uh, okay... It's not... Mm. This game is just full of annoyances. The whole area... is the fish tank. And you mean to tell me that... the whole area is just not good enough for you to plop the eggs in. <sighs> Alright, one more. One more! Just please, one more. That's the last of the eggs. Are you happy now? Are you happy, dang it? Good, all the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start. Quick, come to the front of the aquarium. Also... <laughs> It'll make sense in a minute here. They have hatched! Their little Zora tadpoles! Zora poles, Zora poles. I don't, I don't know what you call them, but they are going to do something against those strangely familiar lines against the walls. Look at this. What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? Well, look at that. They form musical notes on the score. Yeah, the musical score. It means you need to whip out your ocarina. That's what it means. <laughs> Behold. That was terribly played, but I just wanted to carefully... Yeah, that's the pacing of it. <laughs> it's the new way of Bossa Nova. We got a new song, which uh, is like a checkpoint of sorts. Ooh, ta -ta -ta. Nothing, not a thing. Could I be using the wrong instrument? No, I assure you we're not. We got ourselves a checkpoint. You Don't you have some kind of instrument? Well, wait, uh, no, no, wait, hold on a sec. Wait, I, I just want to see here if we'll get a different reaction if we're a Zora. Because that might just be it here. Uh, oops, no, no, no. Why don't I do... Uh... Ah! Wait, let me try this again. Maybe we can... Do it, does it have to be, like, right next to her? Oh, it does have to be next to her. Okay, no wonder I was not getting... There you go. Yeah, I was just being stupid there. Well, kind of stupid. <laughs> That's not that we were triggered before, but okay. <laughs> oh yeah, rock out! We've learned a new song, officially. <laughs> so yeah, even though we already played the new wave of Bossa Nova, it doesn't count unless you do it as a Zora. And they're all super happy and cute. It's the melody top of Zora Trillin that invigorates singing voices. Happy days. Yes. It's that, yes, it's that instrument. Hmm. If these Zoras were born to teach a song, then hurry. 
We must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs. I.e. that, uh, yeah, Lulu way, way outside to the, uh, uh, I'll take good care of the Zora children. You go find the Zora who laid these eggs quickly. Yeah, basically Lulu outside of the, uh, um, concert hall that I showed you way, way early on that part that I said was, uh, mainly a low production parts. And literally it kind of was. But at the same time, it wasn't because I was able to show you where to go and what to do and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do here is go ahead and uh, flop myself back over to that other owl statue uh, that I started out over here at Zora Cape. That's another thing that was sort of kind of productive that I got set up here because I can warp over there. But... I'm not not gonna not gonna play the song just yet. Instead, I'm gonna end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue on my I guess side questing because there's other stuff that I would like to get. Let's let's put it that way. <laughs> so, saving and quitting at the novel statue for now.